In the world of 400 meter hurdle dominance, there is only one name that comes to mind, Sydney McLaughlin. She has been compared to Usain Bolt and other great athletes because of this. Just a simple way of showing her dominance is that she betters the second place all time best by almost a full second, which is a big time difference in 400 meter hurdles. Seemingly this season, she got bored of the event and wanted to take on a new challenge, the plain 400 meters. Eventually, she will probably be looking to take down the 70 year old record in that event which would light up the track and field world. Born in New Brunswick, New Jersey in 1999 to an already very competitive track family. For example, her father was a 400 meter runner who competed at the Olympic trials in 1984. Sadly, that season he ran 45.70 three times. Her mother ran track in high school, but did not run in college because she went to Manhattan College, which at the time did not offer women's track. And because of their success in track, they wanted their kids to do it. So they had their kids compete in track, getting them started around eight years old. Now, let's skip ahead a little bit to her high school career. In high school, she went to Union Catholic Regional High School. The craziest thing is, is that the high school's track was not a regular track and was more of a triangle, so sometimes they practice on a regular track nearby. And Sydney was not the only one among her siblings to compete in track in high school. Her sister and brother did as well. A fun fact is, is that they hold 19 individual school records. Her first appearance on the big stage was in 2014 in the 400 meter hurdles where she placed a close second behind Shamir Little who was 19 and the crazy thing is Sydney was 14. The time of 55.63 seconds would have qualified her to run in the junior championships but she was too young. Two years later in 2016 she won the outdoor high school New Balance 400 meter hurdles with a time of 44.46 seconds and was recognized as Gatorade National Girl Athlete of the Year. Also, she placed third in the Olympic trials which made her eligible for the Olympics. And at the Olympics, she placed fifth in her semifinal heat as a junior in high school. As a senior, she lowered her indoor 400 meter national record to 51.61 seconds. After her incredible high school senior season, she moved on to the University of Kentucky. This is where she really started to become a force not to be messed with. Running times of 50.36 seconds in the 400 meter indoor, which was a track junior record at the time, but is now held by Britton Wilson. And Sydney also had a collegiate record in the 400 meter hurdles with a time of 42.7 after one season at the University of Kentucky and became a pro when she signed a deal with New Balance. Being coached by controversial figure Bob Kersey because of how he puts his athletes through as little races so he can get more out of his athletes in training. And this was a good switch for her because she has six of the best performances in the top eight for 400 meter hurdles. With her dominance in the 400 meter hurdles, this season she decided to switch to the 400 meter. And it's very possible we also see her take that world record. One interesting fact is that she has only run in a total of four different meets this entire track season, which includes indoor due to her coach Bob Kersey. Compared to someone like Fim Kabol, who has run in over 10 meets so far this season. Another interesting fact is that she likes to eat candy before her races, specifically gummy bears. Lastly, unlike other great athletes, she does not have a flashy celebration. If you see her at the end of the race, she usually sits down, puts her hand up, and waves. According to her, it's because after 400 meters, you're dead and have no energy left. To summarize some of her notable achievements, they are 
2022 World Finals in Eugene, Oregon with gold in the 400 meter hurdles and 4x4. 2020 Tokyo Olympic Games, she won gold in the same events. She holds the 400 meter hurdle world record at 50.68 and I'm predicting she will also get the 400 meter record. This video was just scratching the surface of Sydney McLaughlin's contributions on and off the track and the crazy thing is is that she still has a couple more years in her career and we will see where she goes from there. If she can go from a triangle track in high school to the pros, you can give it your all and make it there too. If you liked the video, subscribe and like so more people can find it.